this following video, if you are struggling to choose between a Great Pyrenees, also known as the Pyrenean Mountain Dog, and a Central Asian Shepherd, also known as an alibi, we have compiled all the detailed information you need to know to help you make the best choice. So let's begin the fight. Intimidation Factor An adult male Great Pyrenees stands at a height of 27.5 to 32 inches at the withers, and weighs between 50 to 54 kilograms. They are large, thickly coated, immensely powerful working dogs, bred to deter, sheep stealing wolves and other predators on snowy mountain tops. Whereas an adult male alibi stands at an impressive height of 28 to 30 inches at the withers, and weighs between 55 to 80 kilograms. They are massive, muscular, powerful looking dogs that boast having large heads. This breed is known for its capacity to not only survive but thrive in some of the harshest environments found anywhere on earth. In our opinion, an alibi have got all the hallmarks of an intimidating breed as compared to a Great Pyrenees. So 1.2 Alibi Great Pyrenees 0 Alibi 1 Powerful and loudest bark? Let's hear it first and we'll decide accordingly. <coughs> In our opinion, an alibi has a powerful bark. So 1.2 Alibi Great Pyrenees 0 Alibi 2 Bite Force In case of both the dogs, we didn't have any information with respect to their bite force. However in our opinion, considering the dog breeds with similar cranial dimensions, we estimate it could be in between 500 to 700 psi. But with no concrete data available to compare, one point to both. Great Pyrenees 1 Alibi 3 Temperament The Great Pyrenees are gentle giants with even temper and are perfectly capable of fighting off predators. Years ago they were known for its protectiveness rather than its gentleness. Peers today are mellow companions and vigilant guardians of home and family. Whereas an alibis are known to be reliable, trustworthy, loyal and they form strong bonds with their families becoming totally devoted to them. They boast having a strong protective instinct, although they are gentle and affectionate by nature too. However in our opinion, a Great Pyrenees has a better temperament over an alibi. So one point to Great Pyrenees. Great Pyrenees 2 Alibi 3 Lifespan The average life expectancy of a Great Pyrenees is in between 10 to 12 years, and that of an alibi is in between 12 to 15 years. So with longer lifespan, 1.2 Alibi Great Pyrenees 2 Alibi 4 Grooming An alibi can either boast a tight, short and smooth coat or a long one, whereas the Pyrenees have a profuse double coat that consists of a dense, soft undercoat and a thick, coarse top coat. As such they are high maintenance in the grooming department. So 1.2 Alibi Great Pyrenees 2 Alibi 5 Exercise and Energy Levels Both the breeds need to be given at least 60 minutes exercise daily and enough mental stimulation to make them truly happy, well-rounded dogs. In terms of energy levels, an alibi has a slight edge over the Great Pyrenees. So 1.2 Alibi Great Pyrenees 2 Alibi 6 Friendly with kids and other pets Both the breeds are known to be good around children of all ages because they are so calm and patient, more especially if they are well-bred, even tempered dogs. In case of other dogs and pets, a Great Pyrenees gets on well with the family cat and will tolerate being around other family pets they have grown up with, whereas an alibi can show aggression towards other dogs and pets which is why it's important they be introduced to each other slowly and carefully to make sure things go smoothly. So one point to Great Pyrenees. Great Pyrenees 3 Alibi 6 Powerful Guard Dog Among the two, an alibi is extremely ferocious and a powerful guard dog. So one point to Alibi. Great Pyrenees 3 Alibi 7 So the winner between the two guard dogs is an alibi. 